first. At many of Austin, we believe in rock hard stones. You need to go some hard, I think. I absolutely love that song right there. It's EJ on KISS FM. And for some reason, my inner thought loved this song right here. Trap Queen, Fetty Wap, it's KISS. Audio production. Hi, I'm EJ. I'm an on-air personality at 96.7 KISS FM. And sometimes on the TV on Fox 7. First radio job was in New York City at WBLS. So I interned three months over the summer, and I was that intern that they hired, which was like, bam, yes, I'm finally in there. I would um, go home from school, and in my basement, I had like a makeshift radio studio, and I would pretend I was on a radio. I even like downloaded um, automation software onto my computer and uh, downloaded my songs all legally. <coughs> Not. It was called The Number One Night Show. That was the name of the show. Um, every day from six to 10. And that's how I knew I wanted to do it. And plus I, I grew up listening to the radio. Um, having a great job and only working four hours a day. I was like, sign me up. I wanted to do that. And allegedly they said they got paid a, a lot of money, but I, I still don't see that. So moving on. Fun. I feel like it is a party on the radio. Um, just with the callers calling in, just with my commentary saying, you know, this about this person. I feel like it's a big old party on the radio. I want, whenever somebody is listening and they tune into the radio, I want to say, I, I want them to say, I want to be his friend. Or he has, he sounds like he's having a good time. I want to be in that, I want to be on that party. You know what I mean? Um, I want people to say, it's a party on your radio, because it's just me in there having fun. Can't take this radio thing so seriously. We're not, you know, brain surgeons. That's why when something happens, it's like, whoa, did our patient die? No, okay, it's not the end of the world. 96.7 KISS FM, have you heard about this dumb invention? It's called the selfie, the selfie shoe. Like, people are really going to buy this? 967kissfm.com, keyword EJ to see what it's about. I really don't get excited. That's a lie, because I was excited to talk to Tove Lo down um, at the red carpet rollout this past weekend, mainly because I was a huge fan, or I am a huge fan of her song, Talking Body, and she sang it to me a cappella, and I was just sitting there like a fangirl, like, oh my gosh, she's singing Talking Body. So that really excited me. Talking to Wyclef, um at South By, mainly because this, I feel like this man is a legend um, in this game. Um, and just talking to him about the Fugees and stuff like that and, and what he's accomplished and uh, how he really, really, really loves his country. Um, that was really exciting when I got past the nerves. Sometimes you just have to smack somebody and be like, bitch, shut up and dance. It's Walk the Moon on Kiss. talking to the people and trolling um, people on the phone lines. <laughs> like, like, like how people troll people on the internet, I troll people on the phone lines. And it makes my day. What about the worst part? There is no worst part. Because I feel like there, it's a privilege to be on the radio talking to people. And I can't find anything bad about it. Whoa, who was that person? But you know what I'm saying? Sleep, a college student's favorite pastime. Whether it's getting an extra hour of sleep or an extra five hours, nothing can beat a good nap in between classes. Texas State offers a special place designed for sleep and studying in LBJ. 
Boco's Living Room is open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Friday. Many students take advantage of Boco's to take a nap or use the quiet air to study and watch movies on their phones. I like that it's quiet and that it gives you like an opportunity to like sleep in between classes and stuff. It's like a central location. Boco's Living Room also offers a television room where students can gather and enjoy their favorite shows until class time. The room is a place where students can enjoy some R&R &R during a busy day. It offers pillows, blankets, and desk areas to make the visit more comfortable. But one student, Cameron Wilson, said that boat clothes would be perfect if only a few essentials were added to the experience. More of a silencer for the area, for the people who are resting. I mean, I know it's ducked off, but still, you can still hear a lot. Uh, so maybe more of a uh, silencer or more of a type of way to relax you while you're there because, I mean, that's what it's for, to get away. Boat clothes also offers a computer lab called Clicks Cyber Cafe. For Bobcat Update, I'm Andrew Wilson. Radio personality Bobby Bones returned to Austin last night for a CD release. Hundreds of his fans came out to a South Austin Walmart to meet Bobby and producer Eddie. The two radio personalities also make up the comedy music duo known as the Raging Idiots. They signed copies of their new recording, which is available now in stores. The duo posed for pictures with fans for more than two hours. The Bobby Bones Show is based in Nashville and can be heard locally on Case 101. So earlier this month, you guys did your first show with your new drummer. What's been, what was the vibe at that show? It was last weekend and the vibe was just really cool. A lot of people came out and showed their support for all three shows. and. Brandon was there uh, in our hearts and spirit, and you know we played Skate or Die two thousand times without with Brandon with us, and, and now we're doing it without him. So it was in the back of everybody's mind and um, bittersweet. Definitely, man. Um, I mean, yeah, I just wanted to say I love Brandon. We all love Brandon. Yeah, Brandon loved you guys. And I mean, yeah, we've been knowing you guys for a long time, so we we really felt for you when that all went down. But I just love the kind of out support, support, and everybody just kind of came together in that time. It was really special. I thought so too. I thought the it was fun great, community, man. man. It's awesome, man. It was great. 